Hi friends, welcome to Mocha Kids Storytime. Mocha stands for Museum of Chinese in America, and we are a history museum located in Chinatown, New York City, and we like sharing stories and histories of Chinese immigrants and Chinese Americans. I'm so excited today because our storytime theme is The Sky is the Limit, and the two books we're going to read are Fortunately by Remy Charlotte and After the Fall by Dan Sandpack. Before we read our stories, we always sing a storytime song. Will you sing it with me? I have a story, what can it be? I have a story, listen and see. I have a story, what can it be? Gather around and read, read, read. All right, let's do it in Mandarin. 我有个故事，它是什么？我有个故事，听听看看。我有个故事，它是什么？大家一起来读读读。All right, I think we're ready to dive into our two books today. We'll talk about fortune and luck, and learn from the characters in our books about what can we do when bad luck falls upon us, or when something unfortunate or unlucky happens to us. Because sometimes they do. You ready? Okay. Our first book is Fortunately by Remy Charlip, and I will be reading this in both English and Mandarin. Fortunately, 幸运的是. Fortunately, one day, Ned got a letter that said, "Please come to a surprise party." 幸运的是，有一天, Ned 收到一封信。信里说,欢迎你参加惊喜派对。Have oh, you ever been to a surprise party before? But unfortunately, uh-oh, the party was in Florida, and he was in New York. 不幸的是,派对在佛罗里达州,而他在纽约。So where do you think this is? Do you think it's New York? Or is it in Florida? Fortunately, a friend loaned him an airplane. 幸运的是,一个朋友借给他一架飞机. Unfortunately, uh-oh, the motor exploded. 不幸的是,飞机爆炸了. But fortunately, there was a parachute in the airplane. 幸运的是,飞机上有一个降落伞. A parachute. What? Can you show me how to float with a parachute? Just pretend you're a parachute. How would you float? Unfortunately, uh-oh. There was a hole in the parachute. 不幸的是,降落伞上有个洞. <gasps> Where do you see the hole? Can you point to the hole on your screen? Where is the hole? But fortunately, there was a haystack on the ground. 幸运的是,地上有软软的干草堆。Do you see the yellow haystack on the ground? And you see Ned right here falling. Do you think he's going to fall into the haystack? What do you think? Unfortunately, there was a pitchfork in the haystack. Uh-oh. 不幸的是,干草堆上有把叉子。Fortunately, he missed the pitchfork. 幸运的是,他没落在叉子上. <gasps> what a lucky guy. But unfortunately, he also missed the haystack. 不幸的是,他也没落到干草堆上. Fortunately, he landed in water. 幸运的是,他落到了水里. Unfortunately, uh-oh, there were sharks in the water. <gasps> How many sharks do you see? Maybe we can count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> eight sharks. Fortunately, like a lot of you, Ned can swim. 幸运的是,他会游泳. 
Look at how fast he's swimming. Can you show me how fast you would swim away from the sharks? Unfortunately, there were tigers on the land. 不幸的是，岸上有老虎。How many tigers do you see? One. We have the big one here. Two, three, four, five tigers. Very good. Well, very bad for Ned, but fortunately, Ned can run. 幸运的是，奈德跑得快。Unfortunately, he ran, but he ran into a deep, dark cave. 不幸的是，他跑进了又深又黑暗的洞里。Can you find Ned in this deep, dark cave? Is this Ned? Fortunately, he could dig. 幸运的是，奈德会挖洞。Let's try to trace the tunnel, the whole tunnel he dug. Ready? Trace, trace. Oh, almost there! It's a big, long, skinny hole he dug. Oh, wow! Good job, Ned. Good job, everyone. Unfortunately, Ned dug himself into a fancy bar room. 不幸的是，他挖到了一个豪华的舞厅 Fortunately. There was a surprise party going on. 幸运的是，有个惊喜派对正在进行。And fortunately, this party was for him. 更幸运的是，派对是为内德举办的。Because fortunately, it was his birthday. 因为今天是他的生日。All right, so that is the end of our story called "Fortunately" by Remy. Charlotte, we just followed him on a crazy journey to a surprise party. That was for him. What a story! It seems like in the book, Ned had many unfortunate moments, right? Unlucky moments, bad moments. For example, what happened here? His plane exploded. Remember? And then he had a hole in his parachute, and he was greeted by tigers on land. And also, he was greeted by sharks in the water. But Ned also had some lucky moments, some fortunate moments. Right? He missed the pitchfork. He fell into water and not ground. He can swim like many of us, and he can dig long tunnels. Right? So everything kind of worked out for him, and he ended up in his own birthday party. So sometimes we might face some unlucky or unfortunate moments. But just like Ned, we will also have some happy, lucky, fortunate moments. So in the end, everything will balance out. I have a question for you. My question is, who is Humpty Dumpty? Humpty Dumpty is an egg. Can you show me an egg with your hands? Egg? Oh, look at that round egg. There's a story about Humpty Dumpty, and we're gonna learn about him if you don't know about him yet. Okay, you ready? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men, they couldn't put Humpty together again. A very unfortunate story, right? Because Humpty Dumpty, he fell from a wall. Hmm. What do you think happened to Humpty after he fell? We're gonna find out what happens to Humpty Dumpty in our next story called "After the Fall," and I will be reading this in English only. Are you ready? "After the Fall: How Humpty Dumpty Got Back Up Again," a story by Dan Santak. My name is Humpty Dumpty, and this was my favorite spot, high up on the wall. I know it's an odd place for an egg to be, but I loved being close to the birds. But one day, I fell. I'm sort of famous for that part. Folks called it the Great Fall, which sounds a little grand. It was just an accident, but it changed my life. Fortunately, all the king's men managed to put me back together. Well, most of me, 
There were parts that couldn't be healed with bandages and glue. This is Humpty's room, I believe. What do you notice from Humpty Dumpty's room? Is there anything that he has in his room that you have? After that day, I became afraid of heights. I was so afraid that it kept me from enjoying some of my favorite things. Which cereal box would you want to try? I walk past the wall every day and I would think about climbing that ladder again. I really miss the birds and being high above the city, but I could never do it because I knew that accidents can happen. I eventually settled for watching the birds from the ground. It wasn't the same, but it was better than nothing. And then one day, an idea flew by. Making planes was harder than I thought. It was easy to get cuts and scratches, but day after day, I kept trying and trying. Humpty Dumpty is really trying hard to make this paper airplane. And then he got it just right. And look at that paper airplane. Does it look like a bird to you as well? My plane was perfect and it flew like nothing could stop it. I hadn't felt that happy in a long time. It wasn't the same as being up in the sky with the birds, but it was close enough. Unfortunately, uh-oh, accidents happen. They always do. What do you think is gonna happen? Looks like it's flying somewhere that we don't really want it to go. Where is it flying towards? It ended up on top of a really tall wall. I almost walked away again, but then I thought about all the time I spent working on my plane and all the other things I'd missed. I decided I was going to climb that wall. But the higher I got, the more nervous I felt. I didn't want to admit it. I was terrified. <gasps> oh my goodness. He's climbing very high up for his paper airplane that landed up on the wall. I didn't look up, I didn't look down, I just kept climbing one step at a time. And now Humpty Dumpty is no longer afraid. He made it to the top of the wall. Maybe now you won't think of me as that egg who was famous for falling. Hopefully you'll remember me as the egg who got back up. What happened? Why is he cracking? <gasps> Maybe this will give you a hint. He hatched into a bird and learned how to fly. <gasps> what a dramatic ending for this book called After the Fall by Dan Santak. So Humpty fell so hard the first time his famous story that he was afraid of climbing up the wall again to get his paper airplane. But did he give up? No, he didn't, right? He didn't give up. And he kept climbing up that wall and he got his paper airplane and he became a bird. So this story shows us that even if you're afraid of something, you can still try your best to conquer it. And when you do, the sky is the limit, just like our theme today. <laughs> We finished our two books today, and before I share with you the craft, we always end story time with our closing song, which is called The More We Get Together. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right, let's do this in Chinese. Dang woman tong dai chi, dai chi, dai chi. Dang woman tong dai chi, chi kuai le u bi. Awesome job, everyone! Thank you so much for singing with me, and thank you for joining us for Mocha Story Time. 
we're going to end by introducing our craft of the day. We've emailed your grown-ups a template that you can print out and do together. You're going to make your very own DIY egg puzzles. You're going to decorate, make them, you're going to cut the puzzle pieces out together, and you're going to play a game where you can try to put back the puzzle as fast as you can. Okay? Directions are bilingual on the template, so you can also follow the directions there with your grown up. So that is all for our story time today. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you all had fun and hope to see you next time. Thank you so much for